this particular video is causing a lot of reaction on the internet as i speak especially on my youtube channel and the name of this video is the benefit of having frequent sex as a man this particular video dragged my attention to something called semen retention and the seed gang i never knew there was something like that good hello everyone and welcome back to nurses lecture room youtube channel my name is mesmeri popularly known as a nurse with a difference and i make learning easy and accessible for all my viewers today we are going to be talking about semen retention the benefits of semen retention and also the risk associated with semen retention so you get enlightened and know about it i never knew there was something like this like ella said every day we get enlightened every day we learn every day we see new things and we come out to share what we have learned that is what i am doing here i don't know everything but rather i'll go back research and give you what i have studied and what i found out but before we go into details into this class if you are new on our youtube channel and these are contents you are interested in please click on that subscribe button turn on that notification bell so you don't miss out for all my returning subscribers, this is not Smith Mary saying thank you. Let's go there. Welcome back. Like I earlier said, today I'm going to be talking about semen retention. What is semen retention? Semen retention is when a person intentionally avoids ejaculating. Yes, this individual says, I don't want to ejaculate. I am not going to be ejaculating during this period of time or for a very, very long period of time or throughout my life. This person says he is not going to ejaculate. And this can be done when an individual totally abstains from sexual intercourse or this individual gets to orgasm but holds the ejaculate to himself, but retain this ejaculate to himself. When it comes to semen retention, I heard it has been in existence for a very long time, just that the internet was not there to circulate or spread it. There are different names for semen retention. So the three I have here is coetus reservatus, it is also called seminal conservation, and it is also called sexual continence so these are the theory names for semen retention you may want to ask what are the benefits of semen retention personally i've been trying to do some research work trying to see if i can get some materials backing up some points in regards to semen retention but i've not really gotten hold of a good material but when i get a material explaining in details about semen retention and the benefits the research work that has been done i'll come out here and explain it but when i said i saw the comments the comment section i also searched the internet i saw some benefits and i decided to share with you but if you know you as an individual has experienced it and they are true please drop in the comment section but if you are not in support of it also drop in the comment section let me know your ideas so these are the claimed benefits of semen retention the first one is meta health benefits the first under meta health benefits is they said it's improved motivation it helps an individual stay motivated then the second one is that it improved energy and focus the third one is more self-confidence the fifth one is it reduces anxiety the, um, the sixth one is better memory and the seventh is improved concentration so these are the benefits i saw on the internet in regards to semen retention when it comes to meta health benefits then another one is the physical health benefits the physical health benefits i got is they said it clears the skin makes the skin clearer it decreases testosterone it makes you lose uh, more weight loss. It helps with more weight loss. It helps to increase the muscle mass. It helps to um, it helps for physical rejuvenation and it also helps for a deeper voice. So they say that for a man to have a deeper voice, this man has to do some semen retention. So this is what I got. And I also said for spiritual benefit, it has spiritual benefits. The first one is that a greater sense of purpose. A stronger or deeper emotional bonds in relationship, 
and also a stronger sense of overall harmony so these were the various benefits i got in regards to semen retention so if you are a man and you are involved in, in, um, in semen retention you are doing the semen retention kindly let me know if this is true if personally you've experienced it and if you are a man, you've tried semen retention, but it's not working. I really want to know. I really want to have idea in regards to this because I'm still trying to get some useful research materials to help back up all this point in regards to semen retention. To know the risk associated with semen retention. One of the risks I got is epididema hypertension, also known as blue balls, in which this man is retaining the semen there's increased blood flow there's increased pain around the testicles there's pain around that scrotum area because of semen retention and another one is that this individual might be having ejaculation issues imagine holding your ejaculate ej ejaculates for a period of long for a very long period of time when you are aroused when you have gotten to orgasm you're always holding your ejaculate when you really want to utilize this ejaculate there might be difficulty in ejaculating successfully as a man so these are the risks um risks associated with um, semen retention i saw on the internet like i said this is what i saw i've not really gotten useful research materials backing these points out so i can't really say this is it or this is not it but i would like you as an individual that's watching this video to share your personal experience in regards to semen retention do you advise semen retention do you advise frequent and regular sex for the man? So let me tell you something. Basically, too much of everything is bad. We all know that. Yes, I know frequent sex is good. Right? You can't imagine having sex two times a day, every day, every day, every day, every day. See, it's bad, I would say. But everything should be done on an average. Everything should be done um, within a minimal level. Too much of everything. I keep repeating in most of my videos. It's bad. When I say benefits of having sex regularly as a man, I didn't mean that you should start having sex every day. Like, if you don't have sex every day, you will not be healthy. That's why I made a video on the 16 tips on how to stay healthy as a man outside sex. So, these are the points I have to share with you, basically, and I hope it's beneficial. I really want to know other people's thoughts in regards to semen retention. Yes, I really want to know. Just let me know. Thank you very much, and you have a wonderful day ahead. Bye and see you in our next video.